kalender ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Amang mahabagin, tanging bukal ng buhay at pag-asa, kami ay naninipluhod at nagsusumamo sa iyo upang hilingin ang iyong paglingap laban sa karamdamang nagpapahirap sa marami at kumitil na ng marami. Dinggin mo po kami ng may pagmamahal. Ipag-adyam po sa amin ang iyong mapaghilong na mga kamay upang kami ay maibsan mula sa pangamba ng kamatayan at karamdaman. Bigyang lakas kami ng pag-asa at pananalig sa iyo. Naway iyong analayan ang mga nasa medisina at tumutuklas ng lunas sa karamdamang ito. Bigyan niyo sila ng katatagan at kadalisayan ng kaisipan upang maging wasto ang kanilang paglikha ng mga lunas. Sa mga lumilingap at mga nag-aalaga sa mga dinapuan ng karamdaman, naway manatili silang malusog at masigla ang pangangatawan upang sila'y maglingkod ng ibayo at ng may pagmamahal. Panginoon, nawa ang mga nasa banig ng karamdaman. Nawa sila'y manatiling nananalig at umaasa ng lunas mula sa iyo. At sa mga pumanaw, naway kanilang kantin ang buhay na walang hanggan. Pagkalooban mo po kami ng biyaya at pagkakawang gawa at pagtutulong-tulong upang ang nararanasan namin ito ay magbigay sa amin sa pagbukal ng kagandang loob para maglingkod ang may pagpapakabalik. Inihili namin ito sa pamagitan ni Yeso Cristo na nabubuhay at naghahari kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. Sa ngalan ng Ama, ng anak ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Pagtataksil Panlilinlang Paghihiganti Pagtulusa Pag-ibig Pagbabalik ng ginoong pinakalay patay na. Ginoong ibara. Walang lihim na hindi nabubunyag.
always at your service. Kaya naman, ang feedback mo, suggestions nyo ay mahalaga sa amin to improve our programs on air and online. Para alam ni teacher yung strengths as well as the things in your mind na mas makatutulong sa mas effective na pagkatuto sa Teleradio. Please take time to send your feedbacks via Teleradio Mu, which you can access by scanning the QR code on the right or typing the URL provided here, bit.ly slash 3 O-R-V-A-Y-9 One more, this time you follow. Bit.ly slash 3 O-R-V-A-Y-9 Kaya send your hashtag TBH o hashtag RT dito sa Teleradio Mu kung saan ang feedback mo, suggestions nyo, ay mahalaga sa Teleradio. Makinig, manood na sa Teleradio. Makinig, manood na sa Teleradio. Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo. Sa gitna ng mapanubok na panahon, magkahatid sa gagakibat ay diskusyon. Good morning, dear Del Pilarians! Are you ready for another learning episode of Teleradio Marcelo for Mathematics 7? I am Ms. Jennifer Maliari, your math teacher broadcaster for today. Prepare your learning materials as we proceed in our discussion. Also, do not forget to comment your name and section in our comment panel. Do not forget to follow and like our Facebook page, subscribe and like our YouTube channel of Teleradio Marcelo, Telearalan ng bawat malalenyo. We are now on quarter four, week two, lesson. Before we proceed to our discussion for this week's lesson, let us first have a recall of the previous lesson. You may write your answer in our comment panel. For number one, for the direction, you're going to arrange the given jumbled letters based on the given description. For number one, a branch of mathematics that deals with the collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. Correct. The answer is statistics. For number two, it is a complete set of data that consists of the totality of observations with which we are concerned. And population is the correct answer. You're doing great. It only contains a part of a set of data in a population. And that is a sample. Good job! For number four, it referred to the collection of observable information or facts. The correct answer is data. And last number, number five, it is a numerical characteristics or attributes associated with a population that can assume different values. Variable is the correct answer. You indeed have a good grasp of our last week lesson. That's great. To formally start our lesson, let us identify the most essential learning competency, which is the learner gathers statistical data. What is a data? Data refer to the collection of observable information or facts. There are two types of data the quantitative and the qualitative data. 
Quantitative data are characterized by the numerical values, examples, age, height, weight, length of service. While the qualitative data are characterized by categorical responses, examples, color, quality, attitude, modalities, gender. There are two types of data resources that we use as source of information, the primary and the secondary data. Primary data are set of information which is directly gathered from the respondents or which is based on direct or first-hand experience. Primary data are more reliable, authentic, and not been published anywhere. Primary data has not been changed or altered by human being, therefore, its validity is greater than secondary data. Secondary data refers to the information that is taken from published or unpublished data, gathered by other individuals or agencies. We have five methods of collecting data. Interview method, questionnaire method, registration method, observation method, and experimentation, experiment method. Let us have the first method, interview method. It is a verbal conversation between two people with the objective of collecting relevant information for the purpose of research. This method provides consistent and more precise information, but it is time consuming, expensive rating by doing actual interview. We have two types of interview method, the direct method and the indirect method. Direct method, it is when a researcher or researchers personally interview their target respondents. Sometimes it is by call for a meeting or personally visit visits the interviewee at home. Indirect method, it uses a telephone to interview the respondents. This method is quite expensive too if there's so many respondents. Example, of interview method, we can get actual television rating by doing actual interview. Next method of collecting data is questionnaire method. This method is inexpensive and can cover a wide area in a shorter span of time. However, there is a chance of non-response, especially when questions are not easily understood. Examples of the next Questionnaire method are using the guided response type, multiple choice type, and free response type. The third method of collecting data is registration data or registration method. This method is about the related information written in record data, banks, newspapers, magazine, World Wide Web, and the like are the main source of data. The sources are governed by laws, rules, and regulations, and including ethnical responsibilities. Examples, search of countries not affected by COVID-19 in the year 2020. The fourth method is the observation method. Observation may be defined as systematic viewing coupled with description or consideration of seen phenomenon. It is a method under which data from a field is collected with the help of observation by the observer or by personally going to the field. Steps of an effective observation is first, determine what needs to be observed. Second, select participant, random or selected, conduct the observation, compile data collected, and, and analyze and interpret data collected. The fifth method of collecting data is the experiment method. The experiment method involves manipulating one variable to determine of changes in one variable causes changes is another in another variable. Here are the characteristics of an experiment. Test one variable at a time, must be fair and unbiased, does not allow any outside factor to affect the outcome. It is a valid test and has a repeated trials. Aside from the five methods of collecting data, we have the five type of sampling method or how to get our student respondent for the certain study. So random sampling method, convenient sampling method, stratified random sampling, cluster sampling, and the systematic 
sampling is the sampling method that we can use in finding our respondent. Random sampling method. A sample in each member of the population has equally likely chance of being selected. The members of the sample are chosen independently of each other, meaning all in the population can be selected. For number two, the convenient sampling method, a sample is chosen so that it will be easy for the researchers. Number three, stratified random sampling method, the population is divided into subgroups so that population member is in one or only one subgroup. Cluster sampling method in which a sample are randomly select groups or cluster of elements from population and then get a sample from some or all the elements within the selected cluster. And systematic sampling method, it is obtained using an ordered list of population, thus selecting members systematically from the list. Let us use the five sampling method in this problem. A mathematics teacher plans to choose the for student from her top section to be a member of math lab. How could the teacher choose the four students? So number one, if the teacher put the names of all the members in the box and mix the name without looking, this is an example of random sampling method. If the teacher or the math teacher could choose the four student in a fourth row, this is an example of convenient sampling method. The teacher could mix the names of boys and girls or the boys and choose two from the group. The teacher does the same for the girls. This is an example of stratified random sampling. The math teacher could choose a group of four students in a corner of last row. This is an example of cluster sampling method. And the math teacher could choose the first student in the first row and second student in the second row the third student in the third row, and so on. This is an example of systematic sampling method. Did you know that when we deal with the process of gathering statistical data, it is good to consider the following. First, identify issues or purpose of the data to be collected. Second, select the topic and set the goals. Third, Plan for an approach and methods to be used. Fourth, collect the data necessary for the topic or issues you select. Fifth, analyze and interpret data collected. And last, organize the information and decide if it can solve the issue selected. So let's have the application of the lesson. In each of the following statement, determine whether it is a primary or secondary source of data. For number one, the story of your grandparents tells you about their, their experience during martial law. The, the correct answer is P, primary source. For number two, a letter by James Lee to his mother about the revolutionary activity they are preparing. Correct. So the answer is S or the secondary source. For number three, the diary of Anne Frank is about the published diary of teenage girl who experiences the Holocaust firsthand. Wait, that's what that that was an example of secondary data. For number four. Your word history textbook or an encyclopedia. Another great answer, S. And for number five, the information from the museum tour guide who shows you around the exhibit and share facts with you. Excellent answer, B. Let us have another application activity. Determine the method of data collection appropriate to the situation. 
right I for interview, Q for the questionnaire, O for observation, E for experimentation, and R for registration. For number one, a researcher needs to understand if a new type of antidepressant medication works when compared to people not taking it. Great, answering experimentation. For number two, a group of students gather data from the PSA. Very good, this registration method. For number three, choosing people at random at the supermarket and asking them about the brand of soap they prefer to use. Correct, we must use interview method. For number four, a random selection of people will be asked to determine if television shows are too violent. Yes, that is right. Questionnaire method. For last number, number five, a group of researchers want to study the life and culture of Aitas in Pampanga. Very good. This, the answer is observation method. Very good for answering all five items correctly. This is already the end of the lesson. Do not forget to visit our or visit your mathematics Google Classroom for learning materials and answer the assessment. Do not forget to follow and like our Facebook page, subscribe and like our YouTube channel of Tele Radio Marcelo and Tele Aralan ng Bawat Malalenyo. Before I finally end this session, I would like to acknowledge the technical working group of Tele Radio Marcelo. Thanks to our dedicated principal for Dr. Maria Victoria C. Vivo, to our head teacher six mathematics department, Dr. Marco Renel M. Eusebio, for being ever supportive. To our dearest master teachers, Mrs. Jocelyn E. Hernandez and Mrs. Imelda B. Magpayo, for the quality assurance of this lesson. To ever dedicated mathematics teachers for sharing their thoughts in this lesson. To the energetic grade 7 learners for being cooperative. And last but not the least, our beloved parents and guardian for being supportive in Teleracho Marcelo. Let me leave you this quotation related to statistics. If at first you don't succeed, try two more times so that your failure is statistically significant. Stay safe at home. Again, I am Ms. Jennifer Maliari, your math teacher broadcaster, is now signing off. Pagtataksil Panlilinlang Paghihiganti Pagtulusa Pag-ibig Pagbabalik ng ginoong pinakalay patay na Ginoong ibara. Walang lihim na hindi nabubunyag. Suggestions nyo ay mahalaga sa amin to improve our programs on air and online para alam ni teacher yung strengths as well as the things in your mind na mas makatutulong sa mas effective na pagkatuto sa Teleradio. Please take time to send your feedbacks via Teleradio Mew which you can access by scanning the QR code on the right. 
or typing the URL provided here, bit.ly slash 3 O-R-V-A-Y-9 One more, this time you follow. Bit.ly slash 3 O-R-V-A-Y-9 Kaya send your hashtag TBH o hashtag RT dito sa Teleradium U kung saan ang feedback mo, suggestions nyo, ay mahalaga sa Telerazo. Makinig, manood na sa Telerazo. Makinig, manood na sa Telerazo. Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo Sa gitna ng mapanubok na panahon Magkahatid sa kakibat ay diskusyon Sama-sama tayo Kahit magkalayo Sa programang ito Yakang pagkatuto